So United are shipping Wan-Bissaka to West Ham and bringing Masrawi to United. I've already done a video about why it's probably the right time now to be letting Wan-Bissaka move on so United can move forward now. Make sure you're checking out that one. We're signing yet another X-10 Arg player. We knew that United would go back to normality after that Euro deal, bringing in either someone from the Dutch league or someone who used to play for Ten Hag. Another one. Take nothing away from him though, you can definitely see why United are looking to bring him in. In the video today, I'm going to detail the reasons why, and also the things that people are a little bit worried about when you're looking at Masrawi in his career as well. Going to detail all of it in today's video guys. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new around you, and let's get into it. Okay, let's go. Now looking immediately, you can see the improvements that Masrawi can bring over wan and the majority of it is going to be in terms of what he can do with the ball. United are looking to become a more possession-based team now, and it makes sense then to be changing the profile of our fullbacks, and Masrawi does certainly raise the technical floor of this team, something which all of the United signings so far during the course of this summer have done. In terms of what he does really well, he can definitely help United in build-up, he's very, very comfortable with the ball, and that's with both feet as well, and he's comfortable enough to replicate what Dalo can do in terms of inverting into midfield as well. He's super composed on the ball, he's an excellent progressor of play, both through passing and carrying, he's an excellent dribbler, which helps him in those attacking 1v1 situations, and also when the opponent is pressing him as well. In the attacking third, he offers a very decent cross, and he also provides those underlapping runs that United have been using to great effect already during the course of pre-season. Getting their wingers space in and around the opposition box. A lot of Masrawi's weaknesses, they do come without the ball. Overall, he's a very decent defender, but at times he can look a little bit stiff and clumsy in those 1v1 situations. Sometimes he just doesn't orientate his body well enough when getting into those situations, and as I've said, it can make him look clumsy. He sometimes can get caught out positionally, but he does have a decent recovery pace to get back into good positions. And it's those defensive 1v1 situations, in particular where we're obviously going to be having a bit of a downgrade from wan because that was obviously one of his major strengths. But as I've said, United want to move away now from being a team that's constantly playing on the back foot, being a team that's constantly defending their own box. You don't want to be doing that for the majority of games. Yes, it did work up against City in the Cup Final, but that's not going to win you any Premier League titles anytime soon. So you want to start to play on the front foot a little bit more. And in, in terms of that, this transfer definitely makes sense. When you add in the fact that Masrawi can comfortably play at left back, I've mentioned already that he's very comfortable with both feet. He's played a number of positions. He's played in midfield during his career as well. He's played on the wings a little bit. But he can definitely um, more comfortably play on that left-hand side. So he can deputise at left back. We know that obviously Luke Shaw has still those injury concerns. Malasia, his fitness is still a bit of a mystery at the minute. So having someone who's got that versatility in this squad, similar to Dalo, is a very, very good thing now. And I think it's a major reason why United have brought this guy in. But the most worrying thing about this transfer is going to be, without doubt, the injury record that Masrawi has had pretty much throughout his um, career, but particularly recently with Bayern Munich as well. Even at Ajax, things were ropey on the injury front. You could see he only went over 30 90s in just two out of the five years he was with Ajax. But then at Bayern, things just got even worse and he was barely scraping 2,000 minutes a season and kind of his availability is very similar to someone like the likes of Luke Shaw and obviously he's, he's touching sort of that 50% mark sometimes and that's very, very worrying. It's a huge risk to bring in another defender who potentially can't stay fit. Given United's injury issues that we've had all last season, how much obviously Ten Hag said that that did really affect our play. So bringing in someone again who's potentially injury prone, that's a huge worry now. I think United's hope is obviously with Dalo, he's going to be the main starter at right back. And then Masrawi may not need to be um, obviously playing an absolute ton of minutes this season. He can deputise at right back, left back in certain situations. Don't necessarily need him to play a ton of minutes, but... You saw last season with the injuries, if someone else gets injured, he might have to start a ton of games. And is that when he's going to start getting injured as well then? So, it's only something that we're going to have to just wait and see, but it's definitely a cause for concern. 
There's no doubt in the Masrari is a very good player. He definitely improves the technical floor of this team. But that injury record is a risk for United. And similar to the Delic deal, are we signing someone because of what they did at Ajax rather than what they've done in recent seasons? I don't quite know. There's no doubt that the Masrawi was very good at Bayern, but we just didn't see enough of him. So you're not quite seeing exactly what the player he can, can become. He hasn't really filled that potential, but he's still only 26 years of age. Very obviously a decent age profile, five-year contract. Again, is a little bit worrying if you look at that injury record, but we're never going to really know until obviously we wait and see. Seeing obviously how many minutes we expect him to play and whether he can handle the Premier League. We're going to have to see now. Definitely a very good player. Definitely improves the technical floor. I'm on board with this deal for the money that we spent on him. Not a whole lot. Let's see what he can do at United now. But definitely a very decent sign-in. As always, guys, stay tuned to Welsh Red TV as I profile another sign-in shortly in probably what looks to be delict. Make sure you subscribe for that one, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.